Well, this was quite the project, and I'm glad I'm done with it. <laughs> oh man, so many ports to test. And there, on this pallet here, there is uh, eight Cisco C9407R core switches. The previous owner had them defaulted already, so that was kind of nice. And uh, a friend of mine helped me go through the boots on them and make sure they're all running fine. One of them's throwing some errors, but otherwise seems to work. So hopefully that's something my customer knows how to deal with. But uh, yeah, these things are kind of interesting compared to the older models. They are a lot more capable. So on the top, they have eight slots for power supplies. And um, according to one site I looked at, uh, shoot, where is it? These can come with either 2100 or 3200 watt power supplies. And currently they're configured with 3200 watt power supplies. Uh, most of them two, but a couple of them have four. Plus I do have some spare power supplies that came with them. The ones that are still clearly new though, I'm gonna be selling as new power supplies. This one's opened. I don't think these will really care. Whoops. Um, if they have three, I don't think they have to be installed in pairs. Uh, I think they just require a minimum of two. So I'll probably slot that third one in somewhere just for it to have somewhere safe to be for transport with these. But then, yeah, the other ones I'm just going to sell as a lot as uh, brand new power supplies. One thing I did figure out that I wasn't thinking about when I was looking at these. So these tiny little power switches. Um, they're soft power switches. They're not actual physical power switches. So that's why they're so small. And the cooling on these is interesting. Actually, this one's not on right now, so I can pull a power supply. So the power supplies are self-cooled with fans that go front to back. And they get their own little exhaust. They basically exhaust out the back along the top. And then for the cards, it has a fan module like most of these Cisco core switches do. And they're smaller fans that I'm used to seeing. Um, I believe these are 80 millimeter fans and there's 12 of them. And it's probably hard to accurately tell how loud this is over the video, but it's really not that bad. And uh, they suck air through the right side and push it out the left. I'm not sure how that works from a cooling standpoint with uh, a rack mount set up, but Obviously, the people that design this make way more money than I do, so clearly it must work. It does seem a little strange, but I think that's how the older ones might have worked as well. I'd have to look, though, to verify that. So, let's see here. Pull up my cheat sheet. I found conflicting numbers on what these are capable of, because... Uh, Cisco's website says that each one of those slots can do... I think it's... 4,250 watts versus this other website was saying uh, 2,880 watts per slot for PoE power. Obviously, if... I don't know the math would work at 4,000, I think. I don't know. That, that one was kind of a weird conf conflict, so I don't know which one to go on that. But a uh, total of 25.6 kilowatts of power supply is fully configured at 220 volts. I don't know how many watts this would be capable of at uh, 120, because I didn't take the time to do the math. 120 times 16, uh, 1200 plus 720, 19, you know, half, half as much power basically, but uh, yeah. And uh, I think these have the lower and supervisor cards from what I saw for options that were available, but 
even still they're pretty capable these are all SFP plus ports and then some QSFP plus ports so 10 gigabit per port and then 40 gigabit per port on these QSFP ports um, the cards they've come with are kind of interesting so these uh, C9400-LC-48UX are some of the nicer cards out of what I got and it's a half and half card so this half is gigabit and this half is gigabit, two and a half gig, five gig, or ten gig capable also 100 megabit but who cares about that <laughs> and these are uh, UPOE which I forgot to write it down I believe 60 watts per port which is crazy um, yeah and this one oh wow this one was actually nicely configured some of the other ones have gigabit only ports uh, yeah this bottom one here which is basically there's no X at the end of the model number so it's a C9400-LC-48U and that's still UPOE capable as well which is kind of fun but yeah <laughs> testing was a nightmare because I had to test each port twice so I had to test it for network traffic and then PoE power so I have these random PoE powered access points that are worthless that I use and then uh, this line's my internet connection and then I, my laptop I usually uh, I just ping Google <laughs> it's it's just the easiest one to hit and uh, yeah just one by one plug unplug plug unplug <laughs> uh, I was miserable but uh, yeah that's done the next step will be to uh, get these properly palletized obviously the way they're on the pallet right now they would never make it in shipping nothing protecting them and uh, this pallet's kind of poor quality I'm gonna build a custom crate for them that'll be uh, hopefully strong enough to handle if the freight company decides to ram it with a forklift or push it off the loading dock onto the ground or who knows what with these I don't know what's wrong with these shipping companies. I haven't had it happen yet, personally, but I've seen plenty of YouTube videos and stories, and since these are kind of pricey, I don't want them to get damaged, obviously. Oh, but yeah, this is, uh, gosh, quite the project. And uh, thankfully, I'm probably halfway done. <laughs> I still do have all the other stuff I need to go through as well. these are getting scrapped um yeah these the ibm power 710s i have a couple different buyers i'm gonna reach out to on those and then with these power edge sc 1435s these are all just gonna get scrapped i'm gonna save some of the parts out of them let's see if i'm strong enough to do this one nope one handed is not gonna work um so there's no good reason for it, but uh, I'm probably gonna try to sell the power supplies. I'm gonna get like 50 cents worth of scrap out of them, so I might as well throw them up on eBay for 30, 40 bucks, and eventually somebody might buy one and it'll make $10 profit. Same with the fans. The fans probably aren't worth anything either, but yeah. Heat sinks don't really go bad, but yeah, see, I don't, even like, since these have no value, I don't know why somebody would upgrade an existing one. Like, could I, I can understand why somebody would want to replace a power supply. Yeah, it's, yeah, this, these uh, shrouds are annoying to take off. It's just kind of a copper aluminum heat sink. I understand why somebody would want to replace power supply, but the heat sinks, I mean... And then whatever these have for Opterons, they're probably just old, like, low-end quad cores. I'll probably try to sell the caddies. Um, oh, good, they do have a part number on them. I was going to say, they probably don't have a part number on them, but they do. So, the caddies, I mean, there's no money in them. I can't, like, I don't make any money off recycling the caddies, so. It makes sense to just throw them in a box and let them rot. and <laughs> hope they sell eventually. I will be selling the InfiniBand cards. 
I don't know what these are capable of, but they're dual port. And let's see if there's a model number on there. Oh, gotta change the zoom, there we go. Two port, 10 GIB PCI, 128 meg. So priming's are two 10 gig ports, which uh, probably makes them worthless. <laughs> Although that's another one of those things where it might actually have value because, well, if you're tied into this infrastructure and you need this infrastructure, then you're going to buy that card. But, uh, yeah, yeah, I got, I got to scrap all these, get all that done. A lot of these, I don't know what the fate is. Um, this Dell data, I think data domain. No, it's just EMC squared. The bottom one's the data domain. This Dell server here is based off an Intel motherboard. Um, it's basically an R720, but different. <laughs> I don't know if it's really nicer or not than an R720, but it has a ton of um, gigabit networking ports, and this one's not destroyed like the last one I had. So I'm thinking about selling this. Um, and marketing it as a PFSense server because already has a ton of ports and then, you know, expansion slots. Although that one's currently populated by a RAID controller. But, uh, yeah, I don't know. We'll see if it sells. Same with, uh, yeah, actually, no, most of this other stuff's old. Some of the 26, Power's 2650s I'm going to go through and see if one works so I can use it for testing SCSI drives. The Sun Micro Center stuff, that's going to get scrapped, more than likely. Um, yeah, the data domain server, I haven't quite figured out what's up with that yet. It's probably worthless, because I've scrapped some of those before. But, uh, yeah, really, I guess, uh, duck here. <laughs> the big thing is these uh, switches. I'm uh, so glad I'm done testing them. Now the hard part is selling them. <laughs> but either way, hopefully that was interesting and thanks for watching.